Hi, it's time to feed the babies. First of all, this is our room. It was a room we were going to, just in the process of renovating, painting, and putting in new flooring. I typically keep my puppies in my den, but this room was larger, so we've converted this into the nursery. This is where we weigh them and put their new tags on, their new ribbons. And for our convenience, yep, yeah, we have a TV in here for those late night programs. And then we've got a heater going with a pan of water to add humidity. And he's our expert tuber. He's been tubing the puppies. Um, and I will go through step by step with you for that. But this is, this is our little nursery that we have going right now. Okay, I think I hear Evan coming. Okay, there's Evan with all the goodies. Ready to tube them, huh? Yeah, it might be just a tiny bit warm yet. Okay, so well, we'll wait. We'll have to wait. Okay. We'll switch things. I just, turned the br I just turned the bright light on so we can see better. And Evan's going to explain here. This is the tube that we use with the syringe to... Feed. I've run this tube under real hot water from the tap just to get it really supple and you have to mark it with a piece of tape and I marked a new piece of tape on it and you test the uh, fluid here with a mixture of goat's milk and a milk replacer that feels warm not hot, just barely can feel it with the finger. So we're ready. Need to put the blanket on and then I load the So it's ready, and then we pick a girl. We'll tube feed. Have a girl here that, if she tastes the milk and starts licking, then it helps the tube go down correctly. There she goes. She licks it, and we have a mark here. And then what you do is very carefully listen. You have to hear them breathing, and they snort out a little bit, then we know we've got it in the right place. It's down in their stomach, it can't come out when you're injecting, and you just slowly inject the formula, and you don't want to push too fast, because it could regurgitate out, so you just slowly Insert. And she's looking there, big side there, she's hitting a full tummy. And then you pull the tube out, and she's tube fed. She wears the tummy. There's a little sweetheart. Okay, in there. Then Evan puts the finished puppies in the holding box. So I'm taking this baby from the bin. This is our little pink girl. Can you see her? Oh, she's so, so sweetie. Yeah. And so this is what we then do. I always wipe them all down first. I like to make sure they're nice and clean. And that's exactly what their mommy would be doing too. She would be licking them and going over them. And then in order to get them to potty, you have to to uh, stimulate them, so this takes a, some of them are quicker than others, some of them are slower than others, and this happens to be one of our slow ones, I don't know whether you can zoom in on this or not, come on Tweety, you're going to go potty, there, she's half asleep, okay, we did a little potty there, and um, the way the 
the potty comes out indicates how long you should feed, how much you should feed, and I would say from this, um, this little girl, we should have gone probably a little longer between feedings, because you, what you want is a nice, thick, like Dee Dee Anderson says, that yellow ribbon that comes out that's the best. So, anyway, that's our little girl, and she's, she's all ready to go. Now what I do when I'm done with her, with this group, um, I'm sitting on a nice soft Costco bed here, and I've got set up for them, and they like to lie there, and they typically will try to get up against me because I'm so warm, like sweating in the 85 degree room, but um, yeah, and so we just set them there, and then Evan continues doing each one of them. Now, the reason we tube feed, um, if a puppy is immature, if it's weak, um, and doesn't have the sucking instinct, is not strong enough to suck, tubing is a lifesaver. In our case, Hilda was here for three days, so the puppy's got a good share of colostrum in them. But then um, Hilda left, and um, we're, you know, doing them now. And they were a little bit weak when she left, so we elected to tube them for one week just to get their weight gain back up and everything. Um, without having to worry about them getting aspirate pneumonia from sucking out a bottle. Um, this evening we will probably start them on bottles, and they'll be on bottles for approximately a week. We'll probably start these guys a little bit sooner on food just because there's so many of them and it's, it's uh, a lot of work. Blanket out, and then what I do is, um, uh, once again, thank you Costco, I use all their towels. I take that out. I use Costco towels, their washcloths, their baby wipes. We've gone through cases of baby wipes already. And then I wipe each one down. Keeping your puppies clean is paramount. I mean, they have to be kept clean. And sometimes that can be a monumental task. At this stage, it's not bad because they're contained to these, to these containers. So. This is fairly easy to do. I just wipe it all down with a baby wipe. And then um, I take a Costco towel, which fits exactly in here. Perfect size. And then we're not heating the water bottles now. They're past that stage. However, I'm still using them as dividers because the puppies tend to suck on each other. and. That's something you don't want to have happen. So I'm trying to divide them into twos here. And then I always put a clean, softer blanket on top of the towel. And then, oh, I gotta wake up the sweeties to put them in. You can see there's a little sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> Night night, sweetie. Night night. Come here. Come here. This is our big red girl. Mm. Too. Here we are. We've completed the feeding. This is an hour and a half later. And they're all sound asleep. Well, and these noises you hear, that's typical, typical puppy noises. Well, they're sleeping. There they all are. They'll be sleeping for who knows how long. So, and then I cover them up. Just so they don't get a draft. And I'll turn the heater back on. And turn out the bright light. And we're ready to rest. Oh! And did I mention that we have mountains of laundry like five times a day? <laughs> and that's what taking care of puppies is. Round the clock every...